Hi, I'm Claire from The Kitchy Kitchen, and this is 10 Second Living, where I show you how to do practically anything in 10 seconds or less. And today, I am actually gonna tell you all about potatoes. And this is a really important thing to understand because when you're making potato recipes, it's really helpful to know which potato is best for that recipe. So, let's break it down. So I have my two different types of potatoes here. I have my waxy potatoes and I have my fluffy potato. And my fluffy potato is the russet. This is super recognizable. I'm sure you have seen this before. It is a baked potato potato. And russets are great for baking. They make fantastic french fries. And they're sort of like a good workhorse potato. But the thing about them is because they have a really fluffy texture, they break down really easily. So these are not good potatoes to use for roasting or to put into a soup or something like that. And these are my waxy potatoes. You can see they have a pretty big variety here. So I have my Yukon Gold, Rose potatoes, and then Peruvian Purple potatoes. And all of these actually are considered waxy. And the fun thing about that is you can get a lot of variety. So with waxy potatoes, what I like to do with them is roast them. Because they have sort of a stronger texture, they can actually hold their shape really well. They work fantastic for roasting, and they also work great for dicing and putting into a soup, like a chowder. Um, additionally, and this I didn't understand until very recently, but waxy potatoes actually make better mashed potatoes. I would have thought russets all the way just because they're fluffy, but waxy potatoes are really creamy, and that's what makes them such good mashed potatoes. So it gets a really creamy texture, it's really rich, and it does great things when you combine it with the butter and the cream. So the waxy potatoes are my favorite for mashed, and the fluffy russet style potatoes I think are best for french fries and stuff like that. So that's basically what you need to know about picking the perfect potato for whatever recipe you're doing. For more recipes featuring this technique, check out my blog, thekitchykitchen.com.